Hello, my name is Mrs Buck and I'm going to be running you through the Level 3 BTEC Sport course that we're running here at Tonarevel Community School. Uh, so the way that this course will work is you're going to have two separate teachers for different units of the course. So there's myself, Mrs Buck and Mr Joseph, who you will meet later on in the course. Uh, so as I said, it's a Level 3 National Extended Certificate in Sport. Uh, so it's, it's an equivalent to one A-level. So within the course, as you can see here, um, we will look at four units of work. So three of these units of work are mandatory, meaning that you will have to uh, cover these units. So we will be teaching them in school and then uh, two of the units are assessed externally, uh, meaning that they will have exams um, and it will not be marked by us in school. Uh, so as you can see here, the mandatory content is worth 83% of the qualification. So then we'll have an additional uh, optional unit that will be worth the remainder of the qualification. So these are the four units that we will study over the two years. Uh, so we'll aim to cover the first two units within the first year so we can complete the external assessment. Uh, so these units will be worth uh, more guided learning hours, meaning that they're worth more percentage overall. Um, so those are the anatomy and physiology unit and the fitness training and programming for health, sport and wellbeing units. Uh, then we have the professional development in the sports industry unit. So this is worth um, a little less weighting um, and it will take up a little bit less time to cover as well as the sports psychology unit. So for the first unit of anatomy and physiology, uh, we will be looking at the skeletal system, so how it responds to exercise. Uh, and we'll also be covering the muscular, respiratory, cardiovascular and energy systems. Uh, for each of these systems, then we'll be uh, working at how they work, looking at the different systems related to these, and then also how they are affected by short and long term sports performance. So we'll be completing an hour and a half exam for this unit, and it's worth 80 marks overall. Uh, so these we will aim to complete in the first year within uh, the May to June assessment period. Uh, so now I'm going to pass over to Mr Joseph who is going to continue uh, explaining the rest of the qualification for you. Hi, I'm Mr Joseph and I'm the other teacher for the Level 3 qualification and the unit I teach in Year 12 is Fitness Training and Programming for Health, Sport and Wellbeing. This unit is very good uh, for people who be interested in a career in the sports in industry or personal training. So aspects of this unit that we follow are lifestyle factors and their effect on health and wellbeing, recommendations to promote health and wellbeing, screening processes for training and programming, uh, Programme-related nutritional needs, training methods for different components of fitness, appropriate training activities to meet the needs of a specific client and principles of training. The assessment for this is um, prior to the, the assessment is given out so the, the students receive some of the, the content for the exam. Then they've got a, a time period where they can prepare and then the, the exam lasts 2.5 hours but is supervised um, in the classroom. For Unit 3, Professional Development in Sports Industry, this is a unit that would be undertaken in Year 13 and this is internally assessed and it is all coursework driven. In this uh, unit you'll understand the career and job opportunities in the sport industry, explore own skills using a skills audit to inform career development and action plan, undertake a recruitment activity to demonstrate the processes that can lead to successful job offer in a selected career pathway and reflect on the recruitment and selection processes and your individual performance. The other unit that you'll study in Year 13 is Sports Psychology and again this is internally assessed and you'll study the following topics, so how personality motiva motivation and competitive pressure can affect sports performance, examine the impact of group dynamics in team sports and its effect on sports performance and explore psychological skills training programmes designed to improve performance. Now the equivalents for um, UCAS tariff points were distinction stars, the equivalent to an A star, and it's worth 56 UCAS tariff points. A, a distinction is the same equivalent to an A level grade A, and it's worth 48 UCAS tariff points. A merit is the equivalent to an A level C grade, and it's worth 32 UCAS tariff points. And a pass is the equivalent of an E grade, a grade which is worth 16 UCAS tariff points. So where can the BTEC Sports uh, qualification take me? There's lots of careers that um, would be of interest. You can go into PE teaching, sports coaching, physiotherapy, performance analysis, 
the fitness industry, personal training, emergency services, the military and health sciences. Obviously some of these uh, careers would also need to be go to university first. So frequently asked questions about the course, is BTEC sport hard? It, it can be a difficult qualification, however if you prepare for the exams prior to take, undertake them in year 12 and you do some revision then you should take to this course with no, no difficulty and if you show good work ethic for the internally assessed units which are coursework driven then that, um, that should be pretty straightforward as well. Will there be a lot of practical in BTEC sport? The practical activities, they are not assessed in this qualification. However, we look to do some practical activities to gather students to gain a better understanding of the qualification. And these will be drip thread um, throughout the two-year qualification. And that's everything from me. Thanks.